Welcome to another Mass Transit Commute. On this episode, I'm gonna talk about using the built-in configuration support in .NET with Mass Transit. So what I have here is a simple worker application. It calls add Mass Transit. I'm using RabbitMQ. It works with all transports. And I'm not specifying any host configuration. I'm just calling configuration endpoints. So now if I go out and run this, I can see that it's gonna run, it's gonna to connect to RabbitMQ colon localhost. And how does it do this by default? Well, there's no host configured, so it's gonna use the defaults. And the defaults are in this RabbitMQ transport options class. The RabbitMQ transport options looks, hey, am I running in a container? If so, it assumes there's a service called RabbitMQ. If not, it says localhost. And it uses the default port virtual host, guest guest, all of that type stuff. And if I look over here in my RabbitMQ broker, I can see that I have a virtual host that's default that has the log event queue. So when I run this application, it's producing messages to that queue. Now let's look at some ways that we can customize that. The first way we can customize that is we can go into app settings default and we can put a section in here, RMQ, that's just the name I've used. And I'm telling it I wanna use the vhost alpha. If I go into my program, I can see services.addOptions, that RabbitMQ transport options, and I'm calling bind configuration of RMQ. You can use whatever you name you want. That's just the name that I've used. Now, if I go out here and run this, you can see it's gonna connect to that alpha virtual host. And if I go into RabbitMQ, you can see I'm connected to alpha instead of the default virtual host. So that's one way we can configure it, but because we're using system options, configurations, whatever it is, Microsoft extensions, options, configurations, I can actually do this via an environment variable. So if I come in here and say export rmq underscore underscore vhost because colons aren't supported, um, and I tell it to go to vhost beta, because this is an environment variable, it's gonna override those app settings values. And now when I run this, I'm gonna see that it's actually connected to the beta virtual host. So all of those values can override those settings. When I jump in here, I can see I'm connected to beta and it uses that value. Uh, there's a number of values that can be specified in here. They're all by name. So it's like host, port, vhost, user, pass. There's also some USSSL and there's a RabbitMQ SSL options type as well. So that's just a quick intro to how you can configure your host. Cause I see every time I see somebody post code, they have their own extraction of configuration for the RabbitMQ settings. And I'm like, you gotta know how to use this because it just eliminates all that cruft and setup in your own app. Just use add options, RabbitMQ transport options, bind it to the config setting you want. And then you got app settings, you've got environment, everything you want. So that's it for this mass transit commute. Hope this was helpful. Catch you next time.